Greetings from the hardworking men and women of Street Salt Lake. I'm Adele Hash Khalil. I'm the Executive Director General and Manager of Street Salt Lake. I just completed my second year here at Street Salt Lake. When Mayor Garcetti appointed me, he asked me to lead Street Salt Lake into the future by enhancing delivery of basic services to all Angelinos while providing innovative, integrated, and holistic solutions that can protect the public health and safety and mitigate the impacts of our changing climate. I'm proud to report to you today that we have met these challenges and transformed Streets LA to one of the most responsive and progressive agencies anchored in innovation, integration, and inclusion. This picture exemplifies what Streets LA stands for, making our streets safe, mobile, and sustainable, while enhancing the quality of life for all Angelinos. Streets connect people. Our work is not just about paving streets, fixing sidewalks, or planting trees. It's about providing safe and sustainable communities. United behind a mission of enhancing the quality of life for all, I'm excited to share with you some of our achievements during this fiscal year 2019-2020. It has been a record year, which saw the launch of our five-year strategic plan. We met, exceeded all our goals, thanks to the men and women of the Bureau, who worked tirelessly to deliver services to the great city of Los Angeles, adjusting quickly to respond to the pandemic, public protests for social justice, wildfires, and now also the uncertainties of the economy and budget cuts. We are meeting with and listening to our residents and businesses to incorporate their input. We have created a stakeholder advisory council with representatives from across our communities. We held our second tree summit, charting path forward for a healthier tree canopy and urban forest. We are implementing state-of-the-art asset management system to be more efficient, cost-effective, and responsive to our changing needs and demands. With safety and liability reduction being our number one priority, we integrated liability claims, system condition, and community input into a holistic prioritization of our services, referred to as Street Pulse. This year, we estimate that the liability reduction potential from our streets and sidewalk repair was around $335 million. We are transforming the LA Street Network. We resurfaced about 2,000 miles of roadway this year the equivalent of traveling from Los Angeles to Chicago. Streets LA fixed 224 of the worst street locations, successfully repairing 68 lane miles of what are referred to as failed streets. This is the first time this much work has been done in a single year on streets rated in poor condition, especially our concrete streets that have not been addressed in a long time. Streets LA rehabilitated 119 alleys across our city, over 13 lane miles. The first work on alleys that have been funded in more than five years. Streets LA resurfaced 153 miles of bike lanes over the last two years and partnered with LA Department of Transportation and Metro to enhance mobility across our streets by integrating dedicated bike lanes and bus lanes into our street paving program. We established a new program to reduce risk and liability and thereby save money that the city is currently paying out in litigation claims, but also making our streets safer. As part of this program, we have stabilized over 3,000 sidewalk locations in need of repair, using combination of spot fixes and permanent sidewalk reconstruction for more than half a million square feet of sidewalks. To enhance accessibility and mobility, we installed or fixed more than 300 access ramps this year, including 65 access ramps in Skid Row. Streets LA responded to 42,000 311 service requests during fiscal year 1920. We are caring more for our urban forest. The entirely in-house crews of the Urban Forestry Division 
trimmed more than 37,000 trees, planted more than 1,400 trees, and removed 2,400 dead trees, and cleared more than 7,000 instances where trees were obstructing the public right of way. We've begun the work on inventorying all 700,000 street trees in the city, which will provide us data to better target and manage our resources to plant and maintain trees. The database includes trees in the city that will also be combined with trees in city parks. And we have already completed surveys in 10 neighborhood councils and inventoried more than 100,000 street tree locations. Building off our test of innovative cool pavement technology, Streets LA is combining strategies to address the rising temperature and changing climate. We have implemented five urban cooling neighborhood projects. In addition to cooling our pavement and applying cool pavement, we are expanding shade through the use of trees and transit shelters. Streets LA received the 2020 APA Los Angeles Planning Award for Excellence for Urban Cooling and First and Last Mile Strategies for the Sherman Way Station. Also, we received the Coolest in LA Award from Climate Resolve. This is a testimony of Streets LA commitment to the environment and to mitigating the impacts of climate change. Among the many new programs we have established this year, we stood up permitting for sidewalk and park vending to provide a way for these small businesses to step out of the shadows and join the formal economy. We're working closely with the vendors, providing guidance for safe vending during the pandemic and creating a dialogue among vendors and the LA County Department of Public Health to streamline the permitting process for food vending. This year, the world, all our lives have been upended by a global pandemic, the COVID-19. COVID-19 struck the way we live, work, and do business, and we had to change. I'm proud of how quickly our essential workers have been able to adapt with the adjusted deployment, telecommuting, and implementing new safety protocols. Streets LA supported the education of businesses to protect public health during the gradual reopening and completed nearly 26,000 COVID-19 related inspections. We also work quickly to keep farmers markets open and operating safely by approving COVID-19 safety plans for 35 farmers markets that are an important option for fresh food in neighborhoods across the city. Streets LA employees volunteered to staff various disaster service worker programs during the pandemic, including sheltering the homeless population, delivering food to seniors, and serving as ambassadors to educate businesses about safety guidelines. Streets LA took advantage of the reduced traffic while people stayed at home, and we adapted, launching the ADAPT program. We paved more than 60 miles of streets that are normally difficult to pave due to heavy traffic and business activity. This includes 5th, 6th, 7th streets in downtown Los Angeles, allowing for the addition of dedicated bike lanes and bus lanes. Last year, we swept over 240,000 curb miles citywide. We also included sweeping in our ADAPT program. We swept 10,000 curb miles along major commercial corridors, and we removed 5,000 cubic yards of debris and trash. We will be using this experience and knowledge to further optimize and expand our sweeping routes to cover more commercial streets as a regular activity in our future. That kind of optimization of services is part of the culture of inclusion, innovation, and integration that will help Los Angeles return stronger and more resilient after the pandemic is over. We're building a new enterprise asset management system to better deploy and prioritize our services and allow us to continue adapting to changing needs while being responsive, fair, and equitable. We're committed to equity and delivering racial and gender equity action plans as directed by our mayor, Mayor Garcetti and city council. We are here to ensure continuous improvement in our workplace and the diverse communities we serve. 
We have partners with USC to conduct an analysis of our services with an eye of equity. Providing safe streets and sidewalks, shade trees, and transit shelters is at the heart of social justice and equity. We need to invest in our communities by integrating green solutions into our infrastructure projects and to motivate, train, and hire the environmental heroes of today and tomorrow from our local communities. We are holding racial equity listening sessions to ensure a work environment that's healthy and free of racism and discrimination, while focusing on equal and respectful delivery of services for all. We have set ambitious goals for the coming year, especially in the areas of sustainability and resiliency. In the new year, we'll focus on reducing our carbon footprint, expanding the urban tree canopy, supporting transit and pedestrian activities, and investing in more cool neighborhoods. We will integrate green infrastructure into streetscape projects, such as stormwater capture, trees, and bias wells. Our stakeholder advisory council recommend public safety as our top priority, and we will work to enhance public safety and health in our neighborhoods through asset management and planning that considers liability risk reduction to the city, increasing shade where pedestrians and transit charters are exposed to the highest heat, expanding hydration stations and promoting COVID safety. In the coming year, we'll continue to deliver services utilizing technology and data to ensure transparency and fairness while increasing our long-term efficiency. We will be focused on organizational improvements that develop our financial resiliency and will continue to pursue external funding and partnerships to allow us to do more. This work builds off a growing grants program that last year secured $82 million in grants for transportation projects, including most recently a grant for the 2028 Olympics. Streets LA has had a banner year and remain optimistic about the coming year. We have not rested during the pandemic and will continue to adapt to the changes and challenges ahead. Our work is critical to the foundation of our city, and we are supporting a recovery toward a more equitable, fair, and sustainable Los Angeles. Let's join minds, hands, and hearts to transform our communities to sustainable and resilient communities while enhancing the quality of life for all. I am hopeful and optimistic that we will come together to create an oasis in every community in Los Angeles that can protect us for today and tomorrow and make us safe and healthy. We are honored at Streets LA to serve every community and every Angeline. Thank you.